I'm Ampila Rampili. I'm a medical doctor by training and an anthropologist. And I'm a, a citizen activist from South Africa. I'm here because I see the Club of Rome as a really important node of knowledge, experience and diverse views on matters that are critically important for the survival of humanity on this limited planet. I got introduced to it because I was searching for how do I understand human beings' propensity to refuse to do the right thing for the right reasons, even though that puts their whole life and their whole future at risk. I come from a continent which has, with very notable exceptions, failed to make the transition from the, co the colonial heritage of authoritarian, state capture type of unaccountable governments. So liber yesterday's liberators have become today's state capturers and corrupt leaders who actually don't care about the future of the citizens who put their trust in them. What is distressing is how citizens continue to vote for such leaders despite the miserable destitute they find themselves in. Of course, there is an element of coercion, but by and large, human beings, and in my country, we fought against a very brutal regime. There's no reason why we cannot resist a brutal, I mean, a, a corrupt regime that has betrayed our revolution. And that regime doesn't have the coercive powers that the last regime had. So what is it? It is about this difficulty human beings have to rouse themselves from a complacency mindset to a mindset that says it is more risky not to change than to change. I think the world should have a vote in every American election because what comes out affects us all. What is clear to me with the Trump victory in America is that a woman with all her capabilities is said to be unpopular. But a man who has lied, who hasn't even paid his taxes, who has insulted women, who has insulted Muslims, who has insulted Latin Americans, somehow is more popular, more likable than a woman. So it boils down to one thing. The world is not ready for strong leadership from women. And that's what Hillary has suffered yesterday. Uh, because if you say it's because people don't trust the Clintons, why did they trust Bill and not Hillary? It's really very deep. And we've got to acknowledge that the issue of gender, and women happen to be the majority in the world, they are being subjugated to this alpha male ego masculinity approach to life. And the world will suffer for it. And I just feel sad that Americans, with all the knowledge they have, have made the choice they've made. Unfortunately, I couldn't say, I can't say to them, they have made their bed, they must not lie in it. All of us are going to have to lie in that bed. And that's